This is a hardwired Ring Pro camera and it's just failed after two years. This is a unit that I fitted for a customer of mine and uh, the recordings went quite blurry and then the next day all that would happen is that the two lights would permanently illuminate on a very low brightness, wasn't detecting anything and when I tried to press and hold the reset button that is on the top there, nothing happened. Uh, I rang Ring Customer Services and they said because it was outside a warranty they couldn't do anything but they offered the customer I think it was a 30% discount on a replacement and with them being on offer that worked out at £120 they decided it was probably worth just replacing it so this is the old unit and I thought I'd rip it apart see if I could fix it um, and just have a look at what's inside this is not a repair video it's irreparable but I thought it would just be interesting to see what's inside firstly the problem was that this lens here full of water and you could see it sort of running down inside so I'd assume that a seal had gone somewhere first of all I took this apart you can unclip the speaker grill here it's got four clips around the outside and you can actually see those through the slots so that's that's quite simple then inside you'll find the sensor now you can take this apart further these clips I've already taken apart so they're nice and easy but you've got three sensors inside and I'm presuming that they're passive infrared sensors rather than microwave but when that's wall mounted you've got a 270 degree angle of detection which is quite nice they want quite a lot of trouble with the waterproofing. You can see that green strip there is a nice silicon o-ring. It's got a ribbon cable running through and up into the main camera unit. Above this, that's the siren unit and the speaker for when you go to set it up. There are four screws, one, two, three, four, really tiny. Phillips double zero screws and you can pop the speaker out the way then little bit of water in here but virtually nothing this area was all dry you can see again there's a nice silicon o-ring in there that they've put in to try and stop any water ingress uh, it looks like there's a a couple more chips inside there. I'm not sure how you get to those ones. Anyway, then I started looking at the front. This isn't held in with any screws. You can just get a screwdriver behind, work it round, break the adhesive seal and get in. And this is where the problems were. That hole corresponds with that LED which is your setup and status LED and whether it was there or just somewhere around the outside there's an adhesive seal that runs all the way around the perimeter and this area was completely flooded let me see if I can get this to focus that must be a sensor chip of the camera completely corroded and the same here whether this is just an LED board I think these are the LEDs that go off if you activate the siren and this is absolutely soaking and corroded I don't think there's anything saving there you've got more screws here to get into the main board but for the sake of a couple of pence more, they could have really sealed this up, put another O-ring here, and probably avoided all of this trouble. Uh, the rest of the unit is really nicely made, and it's done good work over the last couple of years. This is the main electrical input, UK spec, so it's 240 volt. You've got the six screws around the outside. You've got the O-ring 
that seals it to the back plate and the back plate has its own water drain. So they really thought about that. Inside here, another silicon O-ring. And that just gives you access to the main driver. So you've got your 240 volt input. You've got a driver output that's probably a 12 volt. And then this is a 5 volt. That must go through to all the control unit. Even where the unit bolts through to the back plate, everything's got its own O-ring. Now, what I'm hoping with this, if I can link out the driver and the input, I could just use a normal PIR or put it on a switch supply and use this as a floodlight. And then if I clip it back together, if I, if I need it for a job or just for my own house, it'll look like I've got another ring camera. So that's one option just to save it from going to landfill. But hopefully this video can help somebody. And if you comment below, if you've had a similar issue, I think judging by the design this has got to be a very common ring problem with water ingress and condensation let me know in the comments